And yesterday, he has been received very well. In fact, in the same way, you are welcome, the King Charles. But as the people of Kiricho, we have unresolved issues with you and your government. One of the unresolved issues is the question of the Thalai community, which remain homeless, which remain displaced, and they don't have a place to live up to date. The second issue that we is unresolved in Kiricho is the entire tea plantations in Kiricho, the multinational tea estate, which 60 years after independence, it is still owned by the colonialists and they have been handed over to county governments or the government of Kenya. These are issues that still need to be resolved and they remain outstanding. My proposal to the king as he's around is to consider the following. I know yesterday you issued an apology in recognizing the atrocities and the problems that our people made at that time. As the Kipsikis community, there has been a distorted history that seems to paint my Mao to have been the only fighters for independence. But I want to call upon the king to remember that we have Kotalel Samaya from Nandi, to remember that we have Mugemi from Kipsikis, and to remember that we have Kuiligen from the Talai within the Kipsikis community. These are people that were tormented, they were placed in concentration camp, they were displaced, their children were maimed, and they are living a hopeless life. So away from the apology, which we are saying thank you for the apology, consider giving scholarships to the youth of the Kalenjin and the Kipsikis nation. So that one way of appreciating and saying you really care for us is to give them scholarships to UK. Give them to go to the best university, create scholarship and personal schemes for the Kipsikis people, consider how you are going to repay and compensate the Tarai community so that out of it we are able to carry on this legacy.